My name is Dominic Libertor. I'm an ISA certified arborist and the owner of Libertor Landscape Construction in Cleveland, Ohio. We provide a wide variety of services, but one of the specialty services that our firm provides is using an air spade. We're going to bare root transplant a Japanese maple tree from one client's property to the other, and we will use the air spade to remove all the soil at the base of the tree. We will prune the roots and then we will pick the tree up with the root structure about 95% intact and then transplant it to a different space. The nozzle that we're going to be using is a 150 CFM nozzle. Uh, the CFM stands for cubic feet a minute, meaning with our air compressor and our air spade, we're going to be pushing through 150 cubic feet of air per minute allowing us to loosen the soil, remove the soil from the base of the roots, exposing the root structure. Uh, so this is an ornamental red maple tree. It's November 20th today. Temperature is about 45, 50 degrees. It's nice and cool. And we're gonna attempt to bare root transplant this tree. We're gonna fully expose the root structure to the best of our ability and using our pruners and our loppers and a pruning saw, we're gonna expose all the roots. We're gonna trim the roots out as far as we can towards the drip line. Then we're gonna pick the tree up, no soil, put it on the trailer, move it to another client's property, and then transplant the tree. You could not perform this service during the summertime. The tree would die nearly immediately. Uh, optimally, we would prefer to uh, perform this service when there are no leaves on the tree at all. Uh, we are concerned about the drought stress showing on this tree. Uh, this year, we're nearly nine inches below normal for precipitation. It would be best to perform this service when there are no leaves on the tree whatsoever. For example, the service berry over here would be a great candidate for transplant now because it has no leaves. Use of the air spade versus when transplanting trees versus a traditional tree spade is much less laborious and you damage less root structure during the transplant. You don't have to have the very large truck to move a small tree. You can literally air spade out a, a smaller tree, two or three inches in diameter, and put it on the back of your pickup truck and then transplant that tree to a different location. Versus if you were to use a tree spade, you would have to have a tree spade truck and you'd have to have a very large hole. Then you'd have to have the person with a CDL license who knows how to drive that truck. I mean, many people don't have CDLs. So you eliminate a lot of um, challenges that exist by using the air spade versus the traditional tree transplant method. Just cut all leaves, go around in a circle. You got this big one right here. Where you okay, cut. here's another one. Let's cut it as far back as possible. Everything we cut needs to be as far back from the tree as possible. I can't stress it enough. Should be it. Is that it? Try it. Let's see. Oh, nice. Sweet.
<laughs> Another benefit when you're preparing for planting in the urban environment, our soil is very compact and using the air spade to prep that space prior to planting makes it so much easier to dig because your soil compaction has been reduced or eliminated prior to planting. So you can actually use an air spade to prep prior to planting, which makes your digging much easier. Thank <music> you.